Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to do basic shading and layer masking in Photoshop. Um, first of all, you probably want to make your document size 1920 by 1080 it's easier to work with. Um, kind of standard for everything. Um, I usually make my resolution 300. I uh, never really go less than that. Um, RGB color depends on your monitor. Um, I have a CYMK uh, preset on one of them and an RGB on the other. And Photoshop is not compatible with both monitors. So um, if you drag the screen over to another monitor, it'll become completely black. And until you open it in RGB, it won't work again. Um, back on contents, keep that transparent. Um, go ahead and hit OK. All right, so this is our document. Um, go ahead and bring up any picture that you find online. Um, go ahead and just search dogs if you like dogs or whatever. But uh, I host Call of Duty events, so we're gonna go ahead and bring up a kind of a clean picture. Um, the event. Let's see. Let's find one. Okay. So I think I like this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and drag that over. Just click and drag, drop right into our. Canvas. Um, that is 1920 by 1080, so let's see it takes the full size of the canvas. Um, don't really want to distort it any, so I'm going to go ahead and invert that. But yeah, there's our picture. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a rectangle for making that black, make it really dark black. Go ahead and just draw, draw it over the whole entire canvas. It can extend off the ends, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it covers the whole entire canvas. Hit enter, lock that layer. Click on the layer over there and drag it down. Now you have this layer. So what I want to do is I just want sort of his face fading into the graphic. I don't want any of this monitor. I don't want any of the background stuff. I just want this to fade in. So we're going to click. We're going to drag this over to where I want it to start. Um, again, we don't want any of this. So what you're going to do next is just a big step. You're going to go down here. You're going to click on the click on the layer. Click on layer mask. What that did is that created a layer on top or, or containing this layer. So see that in the white box there. Um, next off, you're going to go over to the paint bucket tool, which is over here. You're going to go ahead and right click that and make it gradient. Mine was preset the gradient. I changed it back just because if you haven't used this tool before, you probably um, have never selected it. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go up here and make sure this is white and black. Um, don't really want it to be anything else. If it's anything else, it'll come out really funky. Um, and it's not what we're doing today. So you're gonna click over here once you've selected. You're gonna drag it to your target area. See, it just starts sort of fading the area out. Now, if you do this right here, really short intervals, creates a really sharp edge, which is cool for some um, specific stuff. You wanna draw a line there, it looks pretty cool. But uh, for what we're doing today, we're gonna go ahead and um, just kind of paste it over a little bit. The longer the line, the, the more fading area it involves. So I'm gonna start, uh, I don't really need any of this at all, but I kinda would like to have maybe the front of his shirt in there. So you're gonna click right there and drag over. Just gotta kinda mess it a little bit. Okay, perfect right there. But now you have your image. And you might be asking yourself, well, what if I want this in the middle of the picture? I don't want any of this background on this side. Well, you can't just go ahead and click on the gradient and, and reverse it because now it, you know, it, it changed that one. So what you have to do, you're gonna file, you're gonna save it, the PNG, name it test one. We're gonna go ahead and bring that file into this document. There it is. Okay. So now we have that on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click this and layer mask. Oops. Long layer. Okay, there we go. Turn that one off. There we go. Okay. Click on your layer mask. You're going to deselect this side. Now what you have here is you have it faded on both sides, which is really cool. Now you can move that over, 
start it inward or anywhere you want. But now both layers are gone. So that's pretty cool. Both sides are gone. That's just kind of a quick layer mask and gradient fading. Um, check out my next video. I'll be doing some more basic Photoshop tools. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it for now.